What's going on everybody? I hope all is well. Jeff Randall here and last time on the channel I shared with you guys some must know money beats and I challenged you to make them feel good using some of the skills that we've talked about thus far this year. And we're gonna be doing a lot of groove studies videos like that going forward where we'll study a specific genre or drummer or technique and I'll lay out a few example beats for you to work on. And the question is what is the best way to practice all of these grooves in order to make them really stick in your playing? Well, that's what I want to talk about today. I want to share with you guys this practice method that I picked up a few years ago that completely changed the way I play drums for the better. It helped to improve my time keeping, my feel, and the way I play with a band. And I bet it'll do the same for you if you give it a try. The practice method I'm talking about is playing with loops. And today I'm gonna lay out a few different loop examples for you guys and talk about the ways in which they can improve your playing. So let's do this. Our first loop is the drum loop. As you can hear, this is a beat that's been programmed using music software. And since it's programmed, you can set it to be perfectly in time. And for that reason, it's great to play along with drum loops because unlike a metronome, which just gives you the tempo, a drum loop gives you the tempo and the feel of a beat. It serves as a guide for you to lock into and it trains you to stay in the pocket in a way that a metronome just can't. All right, the next loop is a percussion loop. As you can hear, we've got shakers and tambourine and some hand percussion all coming together to give you that time and feel that we got from the drum loops. However, since there isn't a click or a drum beat to lock into, these percussion loops put more ownership on us for the timekeeping. And this is where a lot of drummers have trouble. They've become way too dependent on the metronome and as a result, haven't built up their own internal time. So when they play along to a loop, that might be more nebulous than a simple click track, things tend to fall apart. That's one of the biggest reasons that practicing to these loops is so important. They help you improve your internal clock so you're not so reliant on a metronome. And by the way, percussion loops don't have to simply be percussion instruments. You could use any sounds that you want, including something like this, which has kind of a futuristic vibe. All right, the last loop that I wanna share with you guys today is what I like to call the musical loop. These are a lot like drumless tracks where all of the instrumentation of a song is there besides the drums. These are great to play along with because they simulate what it's like playing with a band. You have to come up with grooves and sounds that match the vibe of the loop. You have to honor the structure of the loop and play fills and embellishments in the right places. So those are the three different kind of loops that I wanted to share with you guys today. And you might be asking yourself, well, where do I find these loops to play along with? Well, you can find a ton of them out there, both free and paid for, simply by Googling phrases like drum loops, drum breaks, or drumless tracks. You can also program them yourself the way I do using music software like Logic or Pro Tools. Or better yet, just stick with me on this channel this year. We're gonna be covering all kinds of grooves and concepts, and I'm gonna be supplying you guys with 
killer loops all along the way. So that's gonna do it, you guys. I'll have all the loops from today's video linked down below if you wanna practice along with them at home. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I will see you next time. You take it easy. Bye-bye.